Dana Levy, and this is your UFC Minute. As a fighter's wins begin to add up, the pressure to maintain momentum becomes a major factor. To win in the UFC isn't easy. To do it as many times in a row as this light heavyweight standout has is a remarkable feat that has this fighter on the verge of even more big things in the world-renowned octagon as he prepares for his latest battle in mixed martial arts ultimate proving ground. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. What up, family? What up? Welcome to James Keeping It Real. Throw, out, throw, throw some more UFC out there. If you want to continue with my female fighter, put a comment in the comment section. But you see what my man right here, Carter, did. Knock that food down. I did my training. And now the next big fight, we are going for gold. That's right. You see right there? We going for gold. Daniel Cormier for the light heavyweight champion. We're going to beat this fool down. There you go. You see, we work up. We work hard. See, we did our training right there. We got very high on the fight hype. Montreal, Canada. The fight will be had for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. And we see some fans right here. That one fan don't like me. He don't like the man. He don't want to see me win. But we know we're going to win this fight. We're going to beat this dude here down. We're going to beat him down. We first round knockouts. That's what Fighters we do. Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame. Others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one I can ever take. Why it's UFC proof that for a all moment in time, out of all the fighters design. in their weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. There you go, baby. Number two in the world. Going for that championship. Well, for a long time, this was the UFC's glamour division. And this young man doesn't care at all about that narrative. He's competing for the light heavyweight championship tonight. This is his first title fight. He has had to put together a serious win streak. He has paid his dues. And now 25 minutes or fewer stand between him and a UFC light heavyweight championship. Just remarkable all this man has accomplished. And now he is on the brink of being forever immortalized as a UFC belt holder. Joe, we'll see if his style can get the job done tonight. As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation has gone perfectly. He is in outstanding shape. He has a great game plan and a great camp, and he believes that he will emerge the new champion of the world tonight after this fight. Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types. Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. 
A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Daniel Cormier is one of the best wrestlers to ever compete in the UFC's heavyweight division. And with that work ethic, he has brought his striking up to an elite level as well. He is amongst the very best in the sport. All right, now let's get you our tale of the date for this light heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the intro. Let's get ready for this fight right here, baby. Schedule for four, five rounds. Like a jab, oh, with the right hand. All right, here we go, four. round one he for blocked, a long time. He blocked it, he blocked it, he tried to take me down. Five pounds, this is with a light heavyweight title. Get up there, that's right, we get up there. So we know Cormier, he can oh, he's going to get that uppercut. That jab, that jab, that jab, that jab, he's coming for me again. He could love to go out. Come on, it's backside, it's backside. There you go, to the backside. All right, so here we go with round one, and you got to be mindful of those overhand punches. He's trying to keep our strength up, so he's trying to keep our strength up. Trying to get that yellow thing, he's trying to keep it up. Look at that power, look at that power. Good shot oh. to the head. See, so hit him. Mm. Let's get that strong. Look at that. Look at them. Look at them bricks hit. Mm. Look at that bricks. Hit them nice bricks on him. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He's hurt. He's hurt, baby. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. We got to go, baby. We got to go. He gets the TKO and is a result of a large volume of strikes. A tinge hot. Kept throwing a tinge hot. All night long a tinge hot. Got the victory. Yeah, Joe, a lot of credit to go around you just here. See you got to credit the winner of the fight for his aggressive down the stretch. Champion. And but as you did, you've also got to credit the referee here. He deemed that the defensive like fighter was not the intelligent of the defending himself. And he was in a perilous situation. Hey, so what do you boom. do? You step in and prevent any further damage. Nice job boom. there by the referee. And here's where the you ain't need to be it. crying no more. Not only Roy Jones beat you, but you got to say that James Carter beat you. Now go somewhere so and cry like old bitch. The bitch. By TKO, and it figures to and take then a very special performance to deal. Look at him. He was ready to go cry. We didn't want to see him cry. Get in the gym. Lose some weight. And there you go. The new UFC heavyweight champion, baby. I'm going to let you see this cutscene. And I hope y'all like and subscribe to this channel. And man, check out my other videos. Make Y'all welcome and make a comment. Peace. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend at Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew. And he was crowned UFC light heavyweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.